Hello, welcome back to Rick's Kids. Here we go, it's the uh, next project on the bench is the Tamiya 135th scale National with a 8.8cm .8 pack 43. Uh, it's got five figures in it. I'm not sure I'm going to use those, but we'll have to see how it goes. And I'm not actually sure that it's going to be in the white. There are three um, color schemes. You've got the white one. Let me get some thingy out. So you've got the white one there, which is the 519th heavy anti tank battalion on the eastern front in 1944. Uh, she's called Pomeran. And in the middle one. It seems to appear in a few kits of the old National is the third company of the 88th Heavy Anti-Tank Battalion Eastern Front in 1944 and then you have number 223 the 525th Heavy Anti-Tank Battalion Italy 1944 so I'm going to do this as um, probably Probably this one in the middle. Um, and it will be for the 80th anniversary group build hosted by Charlie Mack, which is uh, ongoing. So I'll see you in a bit when I've got something done. All right, welcome back. So this is how far we've got at this moment in time. Uh, we've got the wheels all painted in their black rubber that's tiring uh we've got the rear fighting deck on and uh, the main front shields on sloped armor on the front is on you see i've got a bit of painting to do just on that piece there uh not sure what the handle part is but that's probably for gun elevation of some sort um all the sprocket drives and everything are on we've got the uh, where the uh, spare wheel sit on the back of there, and I think that's where the jack sits on there. Um, in gun, currently being painted. I'm using the AK. Uh, this those new AK pens. So I'm just testing those out. Um. Judging by, it says use a primer, but Christ, they dry that quick. Get it in the focus. No, going out of focus straight away. Uh, it needs about two coats, really sensible. Two, maybe three coats. That's a uh, gun metal. I got that small set, which is that has um, a black in it and. Um, um, a brown for the stocks. A uh, couple of coats, and that's done. It's no biggie. Uh, we've got the interior of the left uh, panel done. Yeah, it's going to sit there with its. Uh, squeeze it in there. The. Uh, there we go. Oh, that's in, so got the left panel done. Uh, I think there's a couple of extra little bits to do on there. And, the, and then we have the right panel one. Uh, the machine gun goes across there, so... Well, there's no part there, and again, same fitment on that side. So what, this is quite nicely crafted, this one. I'm very, very, very surprised how well this kit is actually dropping together I mean, it, really, it is really dropping together it's a very nice fitment so if you ever fancy doing a national this is definitely a kit to take a, you know, a punt at worth having a look at right so that's where we're at at this moment in time um, I need to uh, start doing all the hatches and, and drivers hatch and etc etc uh, we've got the 
back end get sorted there to uh to um where they are actually what number is that f8 and sec while i look for what this part is can't be a door hinge of any sort is it oh right okay they're folded right okay makes sense oh yeah that's roughly where I, where where I'm at now is once I get that machine gun sorted out and put in there, uh, the two sides then go on, and then I'll be hitting the hitting all the doors and doors. Is uh, the turret the hatches etc. A turret hatches is and not got a turret. It's a self-propelled leading gun on a Mark IV chassis. Um, yeah, so all that detail there and the few odd bits and pieces that are going across the front as well as the uh, gun travel lock. So currently at step 20 and up to 25 is, uh, 25 is when the uh, gun starts build of that so it's from 25 to 30 no it goes in further than 30 in the 40s crikey i've still got we've got half to go but yeah it's it is a nice build All right thanks for watching i will uh Post up another one of these at uh, a later time. Uh, I think this is going to have to be a two-part build process because I've got some other stuff in the pipeline. So thanks for watching. I really do appreciate you guys. Support all you new subscribers and my old muckers, my old subscribers. Thank you so, so, so much. I really do value everybody on this channel. And uh, I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.